In about 10 minutes over on BBC Two, the news and weather, followed by continuing coverage of today's sport, including racing from Ascot, international tennis and second test cricket from Lords. Hello, good afternoon and welcome to CBBC for Thursday and we're back in our own little broom cupboard. Back here on BBC One and it's nice to be back, chaps, I must say. Then you're not, you know, they're not as nice as you lot over there in BBC Two. They're much nicer here on BBC One. But I've got a couple of bones. I just, you know, I'm not a complaining sort of chap. You know, I generally sort of mull through life. But a couple of things have been promised to be in this broom cupboard and they've not happened. And one of them is a hook for the hanging basket. Which is, which is, which is getting more cuddly fruit in it than, dear, dear, there's, there's loads, there's like eight zillion carrots in here now and bananas and, you see the thing is with Bobby the banana, it always happens when you become famous, lots of long lost relatives suddenly appear out of nowhere, don't they, they think, they think they'll cash in on your fame, it's alright, we are looking after Bobby the banana's interests, never fear, and another thing that hasn't turned up yet, is the little box we were going to stand our television on, because it gets obscured by the microphones you see, and today it's standing on a pronouncing dictionary of all things. That's all we could find in the run-up. Speaking of Bobby the Banana, feverish activity because we're very excited today. We're very excited. They've arrived. They've arrived. I knew he'd send them. He sent us his holiday snaps from St. Lucia, you see. Look, here they are. This is, there's lots of pictures of Bobby sunbathing. There's one of him on the beach, look, with his shades on there. So if we get time, <laughs> we'll show you these in a little more detail later on. We're going to start in a minute with Chucklevision, which will be followed at 4.15 by the Biscuits. There's Coppers & Co. at 4.35, News Round at 5 to 5, and then at 5 past 5 this afternoon, Blue Peter. Thank you, Simon Parkin, for holding the menu up underneath the camera. <laughs> Here's Paul and Barry Chuckle and Chucklevision. Terrific, more from the Chuckle Brothers next week. I've got to say, get well soon to Amy Nord, who is in hospital in Cardiff, with lots of love from all of us here at Children's BBC. Still to come, there's Coppers & Co, but now, the biscuits. There have been many stories, many rumours, many allegations and many imposters, but there is only one Bobby the Banana. And there he is, on the beach in St Lucia, sunning himself. Wonderful. No, I am not saying that. I am not... Do you know what they wanted me to say? Do you know what they want? They said I'd been making a banana crunch. Now I think that's disrespectful to Bobby the banana. I'm not doing it. I will not say don't mind laughing. Don't mind laughing. Honestly. Uh, oh, and get well soon, Yvette. It's a shame to hear you're off. I hope you're back on Monday. Now, the Bobby the banana, we've had a few letters about, you know, people saying they'd seen him on a holiday and around and about. But I've been telling you he's in St. Lucia. We can now establish this because Bobby's photo snaps, his holiday snaps have arrived. There is Bobby with his old shades on there on the beach catching those rays, looking seriously cool, man, seriously cool. Now, of course, he did go to, to visit his folks, uh, his mum and dad and the family, and they live, of course, at the Windward Islands Banana Growers Association in St Lucia, and there he is on the driveway leading up to the house. Uh, and there he is hanging out with the folks. That's uh, Bobby and his family. Of course, being, being the well-travelled banana that he is, you see, Bobby is a banana of the world, and, of course, mum and dad are still a bit green yet, but, um, of course, they will learn, I'm sure. And then, of course, he had to travel on, you see, a short, short time with his folks. And there he is with a lot of other passengers on an economy flight out of St. Lucia. And I think, I'm not absolutely certain, but I think he's going to sort of America or Washington, D.C. soon. So photos from that will, will appear. Um, he's also been doing a bit of international modelling. No, I'm quite serious, quite serious. The uh, Tonga, which is 172 islands in the southwest Pacific, and it's about 400 miles from Fiji, wanted Bobby to appear on their stamps. They said, Bobby the Banana, can you please appear on our Tonga stamps? And in fact, there they are. Five stamps, all for Tonga, and they've all got Bobby the Banana on them. If you are in Wales or Northern Ireland, time to say goodbye to you. See you tomorrow at 10 to 4. Bye-bye. <laughs> Absolutely true, that. Absolutely true. Bobby the Banana appearing on stamps. I'll give you another flash in case you missed it. There it is, look. Now they look quite big there, don't they? But in fact, in fact, they're in this envelope. They're, so, they're massive stamps, massive stamps. I mean, don't, why are they in a packet this size? We are back tomorrow at 10 to 4. We will start with Laurel and Hardy, followed at 4 o'clock by Caterpillar Trail. There's Paul Paws at 4.15, and our Friday film special at 4.35 is The Sky Pirates. That's how small the stamps really are. Have a nice Thursday night. I'll see you tomorrow at 10 to 4. Take care till then. Bye-bye.